In today's video, I will teach you how to add a border in GIMP. Let's get started. Adding a border to an image in GIMP is a pretty straightforward process. First, launch the GIMP editor and then open the image that you would like to add a border by going to Files, Open, and select your image file. Before adding a border, you may want to resize the canvas to create space for your border. To do this, go to the menu bar, Image, then select Canvas Size. In the Canvas Size dialog box, enter the new dimensions. If you want to add a border of, for example, 20 pixels, Increase both the width and height to accommodate the border size on each side. So set it to 40 pixels. But if you would like to do the resizing manually, you can simply use the Unify Transform tool and resize and reposition your image to your desired size. Now, in the toolbar, choose the Rectangle Select tool or simply press the shortcut key R for a quick tool switch. Now, click and drag on the canvas to create a selection that covers the entire image. Now, we're going to expand the selection. Go to the menu bar, select, and choose border. In the border selection dialog box, enter the width of the border that you want. Then click OK. To fill the selection with color, go to the toolbar, select the bucket fill tool, or simply use the shortcut key Shift B for a quick tool switch. Now, choose the color you want for your border in the foreground color box. Once you've found the perfect border color for your image, click inside the selection to fill it with a chosen color. After filling the selection, go to the menu bar, select, then none, or simply use the shortcut key shift Control a to deselect the border. You should now see your image with the added border. Alternatively, if you are willing to install a plugin to GIMP, you can install the Layer Effects plugin and simply use the Stroke option in the plugin. This one has a preview option and contains tons of parameters where you can adjust the border of your image. And that's it, you've successfully added a border to your image in GIMP. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.